Hi Facebook, good, good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to Big Country Picture. It's Joanne Herring. Okay, um, I'm here today um, cook us a Thanksgiving dinner for y'all. Um, I almost finished. I just want to, I'm not going to stay here long, but I um, just want y'all know I'm just um, getting ready to um, make some stuffing. And I, I think y'all should know what I'm doing to make this stuffing, so how I make it. And so uh, I come home and um, show you how I, um, how I do it. Uh, a little bit tired, but I'm okay. So um, I've been up ever since this morning, about six o'clock, and prepared this food. And I also went to my sister house yesterday and did her food yesterday. So y'all know, you know, I'm kind of tired, but I'm gonna do this video, a quick video, and I, it's not gonna be long. I'm just gonna tune in and show you how I do the um, the uh, stuffing. Now, I know everybody do their stuff is different. Everybody got their own, um, they got their own designs and their own ingredients and where they want to put this in and put that in. Yes, that's so true. Everybody's different. And you know, so I'm gonna come in and um, show you how I make my stuffing. Okay, stuffing, okay? All right, stove top, stove top, using my brand, okay? So, okay, so I'm gonna turn it around just to show you what I just, this, this story on, okay? Okay, Facebook, I'm sorry about that, it was cut out. Okay, now I already uh, put all the, um, put the some of the ingredients in there already. Um, I'm not gonna name out what I put in there and I wash my hands and wash my pants and all that. So we are gonna repair through this stuff, okay? So what I'm just gonna tell you, I'm just gonna talk with you and um, you just watch me work with this um, stove top stuff cornbread, all right? So what I did, <clears throat> you know, I cut up, I, my ingredients was chicken and bacon. I don't know if y'all heard about bacon. I put bacon in my stuff me, stuff, stove top stuff me and cornbread. And um, I put the giblets in there, the gizzards in there. I also use a uh, little bit of jiffy. This time I'm not cooking the cornbread. I put it the um, the whole thing in there. I know this quarter is the cornbread mixed the corn muffin, but I just put all that in there, baby. Maybe like a half a box of this. Just a half a box of that right here. Okay. All right. Stay tuned when I be back. Hey, we back, we back, YouTube, cooking for you. Big country, big country hush button, Joanne Heron. Okay, where we left off was, was making the uh, stuff, stove top stuff. And um, I was telling you, I think I was throwing with the ingredients in here. So I'm gonna show you what I have in here. Tell you what I got in here. Okay, I have some Jippaloo muffin in here. I did not cook the cornbread. And the reason why I didn't cook the cornbread because I was trying something new. So we're gonna see how this is gonna turn out with the that um the non not cooking the um the uh, corn cornbread, okay? So um so the next thing I add in is the cornbread stove topping. Cornbread here, stove topping, and this is just the cornbread, bring cornbread right here. Okay, did y'all see that? And put it back jiffy back here. So you can see that I put it in there. That's what I put in there as well. These the ingredients I put in these stove top stuff. Okay. And um, also I add a little of this in here, but I have a box of this. Turkey, stove top also. Okay. And I also go add some have add some sage sage in it um i put um the uh i put a little sour cream in it here sour cream all right i'm not gonna make it too spicy it's already spicy already so 
So let me finish start what I had started, making this uh, stove top stuff. Okay, I'm gonna add a one stick of butter. All right. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take the rest of it, put it on the top as I put it, put it in the stove. Whew. Yes, I got bacon in here. Like I was saying, I got bacon in here, chicken in here, the gizzards in here. You know, just some good, good, good old stuff, a toast stuff. Stove top. Okay, and I just kind of like stir it up. And I also I forgot to tell you, I have self rising flour. So it rises real pretty. Yes, yeah, self rising flour. Okay. okay. I put that in there. Then I got to add some more ingredients in here. Let me get my, um, my onions and my bell pepper. Okay. It's the food process. Oops, oops. Fell in there. Well, that's right. Okay. Keep going in and out and dog stuff. So I tell you, when I got through, when I went to my 
my sister house. I told me just do the turkey. But I used to do the turkey every year. So I decided with her to do the turkey. So that what put me behind doing her turkey. And I got over there, she wanted me to do something else. So slow. You know, you know, y'all, I like a lot of onions and bell pepper in my food. A little lot of vegetables. Yes, I'm putting it all in there. my hands y'all I'm worth every tip about washing my hands all right I think this is gonna be it Okay, I'm think I'm gonna put two eggs in there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put. Uh, Y'all, I'm putting my gloves on now. So get ready to mix it. The ingredients, all the ingredients in there, and I put it in there. I name them out. Only thing ingredients I didn't put it in the black pepper and the red pepper. Other than that, there. It'll be good. Sticking that eye in the gloves, yes. Ooh, I like nails. I don't like nails. It's All right. Now, we ready to mix. Okay, where we left off at, I said I'm going to add some um, black pepper. Okay. I'm going to add some um, red pepper. And some piles of parsley. parsley. Y'all going to add that? Parsley. Parsley. See that? 
Oh, all these little things coming out very slow. This thing. Posse. Put this in there. Yes, ma'am. Probably like a tablespoon in there, something like that. Okay. And um, I forgot to show you the black pepper. Yes, I put the black pepper in there. Y'all see that? And also, I'm going to add um, red pepper. Okay. And then the other Probably half to take about, about half a tablespoon of that. Okay. And rosemary for garlic. Well, look at this stuff. This stuff is the bomb. This stuff's got some taste to it. it wakes you up. So I bought this one like from Walmart, I think, or Sam's. See that? So use about probably like a, a tablespoon of that too. Okay. Okay. I think we got it. Um. Yeah. Chop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Make sure that I have all my ingredients that I want in there. Alright. Oh my god, I have to add some sage in it. A little bit, not much, maybe a half a teaspoon. A tablespoon, I'm sorry. Yeah. Alright. Alright. So I'm gonna get ready to um put the um cream chicken in here, two cans. If you feed a lot of maybe about ten people. All right. Cream of chicken. See cream of chicken. And these are a little bit of, uh, let's see, 120 grams. What the way size is this? Put a 30 ounce an ounce. Start mixed it and we're gonna use chicken broth. See, great value brand. This is very good, just as good as the rest of the ones they got out here already. This is a little cheaper. This is good. Oh, don't forget for sure to shake it up before you put it in there. Okay. Mmm, it so smells so good. I'll start it left a little bit. Now my hand fits the word now, y'all. Yes. I'm going to work this mess stuff in here. This stuff. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. This is it. Yeah. Yes. Let's see that good. Mmm. 
yummy. It smells good. Mm. Especially that bell pepper. Ooh. And you can keep putting um, chicken bra or, you know, chicken bra get it suited to what you want your taste. I like to taste my stuff and see if it's good enough for me to eat or somebody else to eat. But I know it's good enough for me to eat. If it's good enough for me to eat or somebody else, that's good enough for that person to eat. Yep. Look at that chicken salad. Mm. And I'm gonna put this in a pan and bake it for 45 minutes. Or apple. I'm gonna see that bacon in there is popping out. Ooh. Hey, hey, and I forgot to add one more grits in here. I'm gonna show you how to do. Let me wash my hands. Okay, well, there's two more ingredients I'm gonna put in here, okay? I'm gonna put the celery seeds in there. Y'all see that? This is good stuff. Mix up the taste. All right, just sprinkle a little bit in there. And one more hour. This is the um, honey garlic. Y'all see that? Put that honey guard in it. Wake up the taste. This don't like it. I don't want to get out. I'm going to have to take a fork in it. Get it out. Okay. All right. See that? All right. Just like a tablespoon of that. Now, what I just put in there, and it's the honey guard. Okay. Just show it to you again so you'll see it. There we go. Do you see that? Okay. Give me here, mess it up again. I think it's got enough um chicken broth. I'm not sure of that. But I can put a little bit more in it. Yes. It looks like it's moist too. Lord knows. Look at there. It's so moist. Look at that. It's so moist. It's not dry. Well, look for it. Be. Last year, I asked this normal greenness. Now I just add more and more to play with it. And um, I can't wait to see how this going to turn out with the bacon in it. And then something I add in is the uh, muffin. Um, Jippy, Jippy Lou um, mixture in here. Did do the cornbread in the stove. I just put it in here. Then I add some flour, self rise some flour in here too as well, so it can firm rise pretty up. Okay. Now you can um, when you do your stuff, you can you know you can add any kind of meat you want. You know you can be starched and seafood, any of that. Well, I decided to try something new. You know, put bacon. I love to create things, you know. And I'm just getting that in it, making sure it's in there, mixes good. Yes. Mm. Look at this. All right. All right. Um, so, this is it. And, um, just want y'all to see what I'm doing, and uh, I'm gonna come back and show you the results of the um, these the stove top stuffing. 
homemade from the kitchen. So food. Okay. I will be back. Take my food. Hi, YouTube. This is Big Country. Joanne in her kitchen again. I promised you that I would be back with another, I um, be back with my plated food that for my Thanksgiving uh, dinner today. So happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there and please be safe. And all, always YouTube subscribers out there, please subscribe my channel and like. And if you have a comment, please drop it down, please. Okay, so I promise you I will come back to um, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna plate my plate. What you know? What's what I had today? So I'm gonna show you what I had today and made today. Okay, here it is. We got up here. We got, we got the um, we got the stuffing, stuffing, stove top stuffing. We got the rice and gravy, and we got the um, trick um. um Turkey nets, see that, turkey nets. We got cabbage and string beans. Yes, my main string beans and cabbage. Don't that look good? That's what it look like. Woo. Okay, all right, so you see it? Just bring it down so you can see it down so you can see it. All right, this is my plate. And also for sweets today, Dessert, I made a sweet potato cake. Look at how rich that is, rich it is. A sweet potato cake. Sweet potato cake. Look at that, rich. Spongy. Tasty. Okay, there we go. Sweet potato cake. All right, and I told you the day I was going, I was doing the stuff at the time, the stove top, um, the stove top stuff that I made, homemade, homemade. There it is. There it is. It is so good. It's good. Christy. Mm. This is good. Look, that's what we had eat, eaten. Hey. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So, thanks for watching. God's good all the time. He is. So, keep on. Subscribe my channel out there. The new ones and the old ones. And, um, and like. And if you have a comment, please. Uh, drop it down and this is my Thanksgiving down to you you, you too and, and we love you out there and be safe always wear a mask alright oh let me show you another thing that I get off off the video a camera okay alright here's the sweet potato cake that I made. Just wait. Put, I baked it in this. Look at this. That's sweet potato cake. Alright. Look at that. Yes. It's good. Melting your mouth. So, okay. This is my Thanksgiving dinner. We be back again with another uh, you um video. You take care out there, you two and friends, family and friends. All right, bye bye. Hey, Faith. Hey, you two. I'm back. I forgot to show you the meats I had today, which is my turkey necks and um turkey wings. This is the whole of this here so you can just kind of sit show you I forgot to show you my meats I had today okay 
So this is pot full of chicken, I mean turkey necks and chick, uh, turkey wings. Turkey necks and turkey wings. Okay, let me show you what it looked like. This is good eating here. So I have plenty of food for tomorrow to eat. So yes, this, this is my turkey, my meats for the day. For the day. All right, so there it is, a whole pack full of turkey nets and turkey wings. Okay, and then also have for the vegetables. Hold on a minute. Ooh. It has fresh string beans too as well. Use the cabbage that I had today. See them cabbage? Can y'all see that? Fresh cabbage today. See them cabbage? This some good cabbage, this some good eating. Good eating, good eating. Yes, good eating. Okay. Okay. And we had our rice. A lot of the rice we had left over. Okay. Okay. Here's the fresh strain beans. Them fresh string beans, fresh string beans. Fresh string beans. See, and that meat in them. Fresh string beans. Fresh string beans. Fresh string beans. Okay. Let me Good old gravy. Is that gravy? It's gravy. It's the gravy. That made from the the turkey wing and turkey meat. Okay? I forgot to tell you the texture of the uh, of the stove top and stuff it turned out real wonderful. Look at that. Look at the tish of it. Bring it closer so you can see it. See that? See that texture? Ready here? Holds up good. What I put in today, the jippaloo and the um, the flour. I only add a half a cup of flour and um, a half a box of that jippaloo. Then I put some bacon in, probably about 15 uh slices of that and cut it up in pieces see that that's a good texture look at it look at that just wanted to bring that show you what it looked like for y'all to know those want to know out here what it looked like where it came out it come out wonderful there it is see that okay And the last time I'll show you um, the cake. Well, I call myself doing a um, tater pudding. You can say that too as well. But um, I think it turned out wonderful. And one day, um, well, I'll show you the greens I put in there. Yeah, the, see, see the texture. Yeah, the texture of it. Look, the looks of it look beautiful, right? Look at there. Look at there. I just want you to see the texture of it. See? See that texture? 
This is a sweet potato cake. A common stuff doing the pudding, but it came out real nice anyway. Okay. Um, what I put in that and this, um, I use the perfect uh, cake, moist cake, spice cake, spice cake, spike and moist. See that? And I also use an orange um, cake mix. And this is the spice cake mix by Duncan Hines. Uh, I like a new label on there. It's nice. I like that. You can see it clearly. See, again, I use um, one box of the orange, box of cake mix, and I use a half of, half of this box of this and my batter. I fix it just like a, you know, like cake mix. You know, you get ready to cook a cake, you, get, you know, you add four eggs. Only thing that I did different with this, I did not add no water in it. No, because it made its own juice where it start, you start adding. I had a, um, a stick of butter in it. Um, I put um, I put the um, brown sugar, brown sugar in it. This bag was brand new, but I opened it up. That's how much I had took out of it. Okay, like it's like half. Okay. And I had to mix it up in a big pan. A big pan like this. See this pan? I use this kind of pan to bake, I mean to stir this stuff in. But you could use a cake mix if you want to, if you prefer to use one, okay? And so, um, and I basically use the, all this, like the green, the, uh, the ingredients on that is the um, um, the cinnamon, brown cinnamon. Okay, uh, pure vanilla mm -hmm. in it. I use honey. It makes it so good. Honey, see that? And. Cinnamon sugar. You see that? All right. And um, hunky pie. Now, what I did, I just sprinkle, sprinkle each one of the olives, uh, tablespoon, tablespoon, something like that. See right there, tablespoon each one, so it get the flavor to it. You don't want it too much because I use the uh, all the spice cake mix has it on spice itself and um, I use the ground all spice y'all see that and ground nut meat see ground nut meat and I use a tablespoon for that, each one, the ingredients that I use in there. And add and add, okay? And so I took and stirred that with a spoon, just a regular big spoon, and um, just kept stirring it, and stirring it to make sure, and then I kind of like toss over with the spoon, toss over with the spoon, toss over with the spoon, um, like this. Just kind of give you an idea how I did it. It's toss it. It's toss it. Keep on toss it. <clears throat> toss it over and over again. Toss it in there. Get it in there. And I use four eggs. Like I said, I went by the box on the cake, um, cake box. Mix, okay, for the greenness. No water. And I add, um... A uh, sour cream, um, I showed you early what I used for the um, uh, for the um, stove top stuffing. Um, just put that in there, put that in there a little bit, um, a layer of oil, 
to a leg, um, leg cut or oil, with some oil. And that's stir it up in there, stir it up in there, stir it up in there, stir it up in there. You know, and um, got my pan and grease it good. I grease the pan good, and then um, once I grease, grease the pan and wait for the me stirring up the, the mixture of the sweet potato pudding. I caught my doing it, but it came out, I tell you, it came out real wonderful. I tell you, um, when I mixed it up, I, put, I poured it in the pan and bake it for like um, an hour, about an hour, yeah, about an hour. And uh, don't get, you know, if you want to put Seth Rise, not purpose flour, but Seth Rise of flour, and it'll raise up high. I did not put any um, baking soda in none of that, because that, um, that um, purpose flour took care of that, it'll raise up higher, you know, raise it up. I didn't have to add them, they had none of that. Like I said, I didn't add no water in it. Like I said, I used, I saw, I used sour cream, cream in it, and the oil and all that and then mix it up and it made it on water and i use about like how many sweet potatoes i use i use uh four medium sweet potatoes four and what i did i got one of them um pillow that peels off the you know the skin off the uh sweet potato then once i did that uh i wash it good and then i cut it in half i cut it in half and i took it boil and it boiled for like 30 minutes they were done and um so i waited till it cool off once they cool off then i i pour all the water off of it and put in adrenal and put it on the side and then after that while i was doing that i was mixing up the other stuff get all the ingredients together to mix all that together and i was really surprised how it turned out so i ain't been a cake in a while so i got to get back in the routine doing that too as well so um anyway I had a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner. I hope y'all did too. I hope everyone <coughs> had, um, had a Thanksgiving dinner as well. And I appreciate it, um, you too, and you and family, family and friends out there, tune in to my videos. And just make sure uh, you subscribe to the channel and like it. And you'll be notified every time I put a new video up. Okay? So thank you. Um, for watching and I will be back for another video. Alright. Bye.